A welcome, Waffle Buffets. So we are back with a brilliant The Last of Us Remastered on the PlayStation 4 Pro, and we are playing through this game on Survivor difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are doing well. Hope your families are doing well. Hope you're all safe, happy, and healthy, and all that good stuff. And yeah, what we're going to be doing in this video is we found Robert. We found out that he had given all of our weapons to the Fireflies because we owed them. And obviously we didn't take too kindly to that. So uh, yeah, we kind of messed him up a little bit. He's not exactly having a good day anymore. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we found out that he gave our weapons to the Fireflies. So Tess thought it would be a fantastic idea for us to go and find the Fireflies. But conveniently, Marlene, the leader of the Fireflies, just happened to be right in this area. How convenient, Wolf and Wolf S, how convenient. But yeah, Marlene popped out and she let us know that yeah, she's got the weapons, but she bought them off of um, off of uh, Robert. So if we want the weapons, we have to do a favour for her. So what we're doing at the moment is we are following Marlene because she's going to show us the merchandise, aka the weapons, and uh, she's also going to let us know what our mission is that she wants us to do in return for the weapons. So yeah, we're following Marlene at the moment. Now, if I remember correctly, I think Marlene has been shot. I think she's got a bit of a uh, a bit of a wound on the stomach, so uh, she's probably going to be limping about a little bit. Just going to have a look at my supplies and see what I've got. So we've got a glass bottle, which is brilliant. We've also got a plank, which is also brilliant. Uh, I've only got one gun, and I did I pick up a revolver. I thought I had a revolver as well. Oh well, apparently I've only got a nine mm handgun by the looks of it, but I thought I had a revolver as well. So uh, we're not doing too bad, we've got five bullets, so you know, that's five headshots, <laughs> providing it isn't a clicker, because I don't think you can one shot a clicker in the head with a handgun, even if you've upgraded your handgun, I don't think you can, maybe maybe with a revolver, I'm not sure, just having a look around, make sure there isn't any, um, make sure there isn't any supplies or anything that we need to grab. But uh, another thing I forgot to mention in the last three videos, another thing that you find in this, oh hang on, is there bullets? Oh. Oh, look at this, look at all these supplies. Look at that, we've got some sellotape, we've got some broken scissors, and we've got a bunch of scrap as well, beautiful. But um, something I didn't mention in the last video, and I think this is also a tip for The Last of Us 2 as well, but um, you find training manuals in this game, and uh, they are very well hidden, some of them. Some of them you just find quite easily, but a few of them are hidden uh, very well. And they, they upgrade your uh, stuff a little bit, like one of the upgrades you can get from a training manual that I do remember is it upgrades your uh, shiv. So I think um, I think it lasts longer, if I remember correctly. Instead of, it, instead of it only having one use, it has two uses before it breaks, if I remember correctly. But yeah, there's training manuals in this game that you need to find. So make sure you do search everywhere because they are very, very useful. Right, come on. Oh, there she is. Yep, she has got a gunshot wound. It looks like she's holding her belly. Through here. I know a way around this. Come on. Okay. You just knock a load of paint cans. Look at you. You just knocked a load of paint cans over. That don't seem like a very good idea, Marlene. We're trying to be quiet. Because at the moment, we are, um, if I remember correctly, we're still trying to get outside of the quarantine zone. Because we're still technically in the quarantine zone at the moment, I think. But, um, no, we're not in the quarantine zone anymore. We're just outside of the quarantine zone now. Oops. Can, I, can you, yeah, there we go. Thank you, Tess. Jesus, just standing in my way. <laughs> but, yeah, um, we escaped the quarantine zone in the last episode, and I think the uh, army is still sort of looking for us. Because I think the army is travelling around dealing with fireflies at the moment, and as we are outside of the quarantine zone, if they spot us as well, then we're probably going to get in big trouble as well. So, um, yeah, we kind of got to be careful. And then we've got Marlene over here, who's just casually kicking over paint cans, making a right old noise. Look at that building over there. One day that's just going to randomly collapse and there's going to be some poor son of a bitch who's just standing near it when it happens. Or there's going to be like a random little deer walking by and then that's going to collapse on them. That's... Holy shit. Is that your people? What's left of them? Why do you think I'm turning to you guys? This way. That's a bit rude. Are you suggesting that we are a uh, second best? Been planning on leaving the city, but they need a scapegoat. 
they've been trying to rile us up. Looks like they did. We're trying to defend ourselves. I don't think you're trying to, to, to defend yourself, uh, Marlene, because when me and Tess were trying to leave the quarantine zone in uh, part one, I think, of this playthrough, it looked like your uh, your boys were trying to attack the quarantine zone. So uh, I think I don't think you're um, I don't think you're as innocent as you're pretending to be. Oh look, we've got an entire shiv. Very nice. I think there is an upgrade with supplements, if I remember correctly, that allows you to um, defend yourself against clickers. Because when clickers get near you, you're instantly dead in one bite. So I think with uh, with this upgrade that you can get with supplements, it lets you defend yourself from clickers. At the cost of losing your shiv, obviously, but it can save your life sometimes. Because there's some sections in this game where you've got to get through like 10 clickers. You defeat 9 of them, and then that one last clicker bites you, you've got to do all of it again. So... It can save your ass in a lot of situations. Like I said though, it's been seven years, so some of the stuff I say might be a bit wrong. <laughs> hey. Should have got Tess to help me. I'll live. Yeah, should have got Tess to help me to open up that door. I kind of feel a bit bad now. Marlene doing all the work with her wound. Ah, oh, is there baddies? Yep. Hello. Soldiers. That's the way out. The door under the bridge. I ain't a big fan of these odds. You can sneak by them, even though I know that's not your style. We'll see how it goes. Let's get moving. That's a bit rude, to be honest. That, that is a bit rude. What's well, sure about that's not my style. Have you seen how I've been playing this game so far? I've been sneaking around like, well, I, I was going to say brilliantly, but I have been spotted quite a few times. But I got through quite a few sections of this very quietly. So what's she on about? I've barely even shot any ammo. I think I've shot like two bullets so far in this playthrough. And that was only because I magically got spotted because for some reason I walked around the corner, pressed triangle to grapple someone, and Joel just sort of stood there. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that wasn't even my fault. I'll try and sneak by. I don't necessarily want to kill anyone because I don't think we really need to. I think we're trying to get... Actually, I'm not even sure where we are. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, there is going to be quite a few guards. I think it might be a benefit to take them down just because then we can actually walk around and look for supplies. Because trying to look for supplies whilst there's guards everywhere is a pain in the butt. Yeah. Just this this waits for no one, Private. Oh, look, a free brick. I already had a glass bottle, but... Oh, oh, we can go around here. Oh, nice. Hey, we can get a slip on them. All right, let me, uh, let me peek around the corner, because I don't have any listen mode or whatever it's called. So we have to actually peek around the corner. I don't know if that other guy is still there. Is that other guy still here? Because if he ain't here, we can get that guy straight away. No, look, our flipping hell, right, what we're going to have to do is hopefully we can throw a brick, lure that guy <clears throat> up here a little bit, like over here or something, and then we can quickly walk past this door without the other guard seeing us. It's most likely going to go tits up, but we'll give it a try. Yeah, I heard something. I feel like I've been spotted because that wasn't very stealthy. Stay quiet. Oh. Oh, let me just die quickly then. Yeah, just kill me. Just kill me. No, don't shoot him, Tess. I want to die. Just let me die. Tess, stop it. Will you stop it, Tess? Oh, flipping hell. Tess has ruined it. Stop fighting him. I want to die. Yeah, look, kill me. That's it. Go on. Knock me out. Kill me. Stop it! If I end, if you kill them all now and I've got no health. Oh, you bunch of ass wipes. Let me die. Come on, kill me. There we go. Flipping out, shot me straight through the head. I didn't know that um, Marlene was going to help me. So if Marlene is going to help me, we can just go straight over there and strangle him. I don't know how they spotted me. He must have seen me just as I went past the doorway, but then Marlene sort of grabbed him. So I, I don't know. Hang on, 
a minute. What's it put me here for? <laughs> Where's the guards gone? I thought it were... Man, this game is really ruining my plan, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, well, it looks like them guards are conveniently gone. Maybe they're going to come walking in in a minute. But uh, sometimes the uh, characters in this game do cool out if there's any bad guys nearby. So like if there's someone near you that you ain't necessarily seen, sometimes they'll be like, Oh, clicker! Or runner! Oh, fucking hell, Marlene! Are you trying to give me a heart attack? <laughs> Fuck me! Alright, what are we... What are we dealing with? Right, where's the other bloke? Right, he's quite far away. Right, let's grab this kit. Hopefully there ain't no guard looking. Quick, quick, quick. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, let me get back in here, see where the other one is. Alright. If he's going to stay there, we can take him down. I've got to make sure there ain't any others. Okay. I don't, know, I don't know what happened. I don't know where the other guards have gone. I can hear you two behind me making so much noise. Oh, shit! <laughs> Quick! Ow! Oh no, quick! Thank you! Thank you, Tess! Oh, jam it! Oh shit, they're all in, man! Oh, what the, what the fuck? This is why Marlene is giving me aggro. Is there another one alive still? No. I'm walking around like Marlene now. Both me and Marlene are in big pain. I'm not doing very well sneaking around in this game. Here. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Tess. Man, Tess is an absolute legend. She gives me so many supplies. Now, when I played this back in 2013 on the PS3, I, I got no supplies. Like, I, I think, I think maybe Ellie used to give me bullets quite often, but that was about it. And we're going to talk about, uh... And we're going to talk about your boys. I think this might be an optional conversation, maybe. I think we might have missed it. But yeah, these are some dead fireflies. Some of Marlene's men. Okay, I guess I'm opening the door. Go on, get inside. I don't think there's any point doing that, girls. Where are we going, Merlene? This way. It's not far now. Where are we going, Marlene? And then doesn't even tell us where we're going, just says this way. Completely avoided the question, didn't she? I like how they blocked this door like anybody is even left alive to follow us. <laughs> we just wiped them all out. I am good at sneaking around in this game. I feel like because it's just like basic army men at the moment, I'm not really trying very hard. But when we get to the sections with like clickers and all that, I become an absolute master at um, sneaking around. But yeah, I, I, I think I need to turn my TV up as well because I can't hear nothing. <laughs> Man, Tess keeps on asking how Marlene is doing. You're, you're, you're being very nice, Tess, aren't you? I thought you did like the fireflies. Okay, I don't think we need to creep. Curfew is now in full effect. Anyone caught outside without proper authorization will be arrested and prosecuted. The hell are we smuggling? I'll show you. Come on, there's got to be some supplies in here, isn't there?
Joel, give me a hand with this. God, why can't Tess give you a hand? Let her go. You're recruiting kind of young, aren't you? She's not one of mine. Oh, shit. What happened? Don't worry, this is fixable. I got his help. But I can't come with you. Well, then I'm staying. Ellie, we won't get another shot at this. Hey, we're smuggling her? There's a crew of fireflies that'll meet you at the Capitol building. That's not exactly close. You're capable. You hand her off, come back, the weapons are yours. Double what Robert sold me. Speaking of which, where are they? Back in our camp. We're not smuggling shit until I see them. You'll follow me. You can verify the weapons. I can get patched up. But she's not crossing to that part of town. I want Joel to watch over her. Whoa, whoa I don't Bullshit, think that's the I'm best Ellie. Him? How do you know them? I was close with his brother, Tommy. Said if I was ever in a jam, I could rely on him. Was that before or after he left your little militia group? He left you too. He was a good man. Look, just take her to the North Tunnel and wait for me there. Jesus Christ. Just cargo, Joel. Marlene. No more talking. You'll be fine. <sighs> now go with him. Don't take long. And you, stay close. Let's go. I'll tell you, I'm going to talk about this quickly. When I first played this game, obviously I didn't know who the voice actors were. And every time I heard Ellie speak, not everything she says, but certain things Ellie says, I kept recognising the voice for ages. And I did not know who the hell I was recognising her voice from. Then I remembered it sounded like Gretchen from Recess. You know that Disney show, Recess. It, brilliant show if you ain't seen it. Go and watch Recess, even if you're a man, an adult. Even if you're 70, go and watch Recess, it's brilliant. But um, Ashley Johnson, who does the voice of Ellie, actually voiced Gretchen from um, Recess, like when she, when Ashley Johnson was like a kid. So I, I flip it, it took me forever to work out who the bloody voice actor was, because I knew the voice, I kept recognising it every time Ellie spoke, but I couldn't work out where I was hearing it from. Then I remembered Gretchen, and then I remembered seeing like a little behind the scenes thing of um, Recess, and I remembered uh, Ashley Johnson. <laughs> Okay, right, so our, our cargo, we are smuggling Ellie and we need to take her to the Capitol building where there's going to be some fireflies and we're going to drop Ellie off with some fireflies and then uh, we're going to get some uh, guns as a reward. So Tess is going to go with Marlene to uh, check the guns. So um, I'm pretty sure Marlene was supposed to be taking me to the guns right now, but I don't know, I guess, I guess that plan completely changed out of the blue. <laughs> All right then, come on in, Ellie, let's go. But curfew is going to be in action soon, so we've got to be careful, because if they spot us, they're probably going to shoot us. <laughs> I hope you're not a wanted fugitive, uh, Ellie, because, uh, yeah, it's going to be me that gets killed if you are. Down here. Not saying very much, are you, Ellie? You're being very quiet. Normally, you don't stop talking. You're worse than me. Well, keep up. I am. <laughs> keep up. I am. I am.
Did you not even cry, Chelly? Oh, one thing I like in this game, I think I showed you this in uh, Uncharted 4 when I did a playthrough of that. But uh, look, if you if you shine your light in Ellie's eye, or Tess, I think they like react to it. And I, I like little details like that in games. But look. See? See how she squints? <laughs> I love that. I love little things like that in video games. It's brilliant stuff like that. Where are we going? Up there. That'll get us to the North Tunnel. How are we supposed to reach that? Just give me a minute. Where there's a will, there is a wheelie bin. Where's my wheelie bin at? Come on. Oh, there it is. See? You always need a wheelie bin. The real hero of this game is wheelie bins. Oh, brilliant. Shall we see if we can run Ellie over? Oh, come here, Ellie. I've already, I'm already getting sick of your attitude, and you've only been with me for about 10 seconds. That's what I like about this game, though, watching the bond between Joel and Ellie. Because obviously, Joel ain't exactly going to be happy looking after a little girl, is he? Because you saw the beginning of this game, he lost his daughter Sarah. So having a little girl with him that would be sort of around the age, age that Sarah would, uh, would have been is probably uh, going to be very difficult for him. It'd be like if you had a pet dog. And then it died, and then like a week later, somebody asked you to look after their dog. It'd be a bit like, you know, it'd be a bit awkward for you, wouldn't it? <laughs> I was just trying to see what was on her top. I know you can get a Jack and Daxter top for her. Maybe it's on, let me have a look on the, oops. I'm not going to, should I get another shiv? I'm not going to bother getting another shiv just yet, because we don't really need to. Let me, uh, let me get up on here. And uh, let me check on the menu. I think it's on bonuses. Unlocks. Yeah, skins. So as you do things in this game and you uh, progress through the story, unlock trophies, all that good stuff, you get currency. And you can spend it to unlock things. And I think you can get like, yeah, look. You can get a Jack goggles, Daxter backpack. I think you can get her a t-shirt. Oh, look, Jack hoodie. So you can get like Jack and Daxter stuff. Pretty damn good, isn't it? Shame you can't get any Crash Bandicoot unlockables, but, you know, Sony don't own Crash Bandicoot. They never owned Crash Bandicoot. Universal owned Crash Bandicoot. And it was, like, exclusively made by Naughty Dog and published by PlayStation. Yep. Sometimes. No, that's a first. So what's the deal with you and Marlene, anyways? Oh, no. She's my friend, I guess. Your friend, huh? You're friends with the leader of the Fireflies. What are you, like, 12? She knew my mom, and she's been looking after me. And I'm 14, not that that has anything to do with anything. So where are your parents? <sighs> where are anyone's parents? They've been gone a long, long time. So instead of just staying in school, you decide to run off and join the Fireflies, is that it? Look, I'm not supposed to tell you why you're smuggling me, if that's what you're getting at. You don't know the best thing about my job. I don't gotta know why. To be honest with you, I give two shits what you're up to. Well, great. Good. Was you impressed with my backwards walking then, Ellie? There's one thing that's gonna be a bit of a pain in the butt in this game. Uh, obviously, the further away you are from characters, you uh, they, they get quieter. So if, if there's any point where you can't hear the characters in this game, I do apologize. Was you just wiping the blood off of your knife with your hand? How stupid can you be? <laughs> what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do, Ellie? Absolute maniac. You see that? Trying to wipe the blood off of a bloody dagger with her hand, then? It's either a very blunt knife or she's just absolutely psychotic. But that's why I was walking backwards then, because if you look directly at the character, you can hear her better, so then you guys and girls can hear her a lot easier. Because there's going to be a lot of chit-chat in this game. It's very story-driven. I think there's going to be a cutscene now. You ready for another cutscene, Ellie? Let's do it. Is it? <sighs> what are you doing? Killing time. Well, what am I supposed to do? I am sure you will figure that out. You're 
watch is broken. You mumble in your sleep. I hate bad dreams. Yeah, me too. You know, I've never been this close to the outside. I mean, look how dark it is. Can't be any worse out there. Can it? What on earth do the fireflies want with you? Hey. Sorry it took so long. Soldiers fucking everywhere. How's Merlene? She'll make it. Gotta sell the merchandise. It's a lot. Wanna do this? Yeah. Let's go. Do I have to go like that? You think it's a bit strange that they're having us do their smuggling? Marlene wanted to do it herself. We weren't their first choice. Or the second, for that matter. She's lost a lot of men. Beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, I just hope there's someone alive to pay us. Someone will be around. I mean, do, we, do we actually have to go right now? I mean, look, look at this. It looks like bloody England out there. And you don't want to go around night at England. It's not a good idea. Especially in my area. It's raining and it's dark and I want to have a sleep. Come on. We ain't got to go right now, have we? I was about to have a nice little meaningful chat with Ellie about, you know, why the fireflies want her. And then Tess burst through the door and ruined it. Oh, I remember these bloody generators. <laughs> got to press triangle at the right time. Like, you got to press it. Now, and then you've got to do it again. And I always mess it up. I'm doing it right at the moment because I'm showing you guys and girls, but when, I, when you have to rush it in certain situations, I mess up a lot. Who's waiting for us at the drop off? She said there's some fireflies that have traveled all the way from another city. The girl must be important. What is the deal with you? Are you some big wig's daughter or something? Something like that. How long is this all gonna take? If everything goes as planned, we should get you to them in a few hours. Ellie, once we get out there, I need you to follow our lead and stay close. Yeah, of course. You already know that everything is not gonna go to plan. We already know that. When the hell does anything go to plan in a Naughty Dog game? Especially Uncharted and The Last of Us. Nothing ever goes to plan. <laughs> oh, look at that. Uh, sometimes it is probably uh, good to find these little notes on the floor because I remember I don't know I might be I might be talking shit at the moment but I'm pretty sure I remember there being um, somewhere in this game I think it's this game there was a safe that you could open and I think to get the combination for it you need to just find the correct note that's been left on the floor in one of the rooms in the area so um, I think it's this game so it is good a good idea to pick up these notes and stuff. For one, they're collectibles, and if you want to platinum the game, you're going to have to do it anyway, but... Also, because sometimes you get, like, combinations of stuff for chests and things, and safes and all that good stuff. There's a patrol up ahead. Alright. We're good. Come on up. Come on, kid. Watch your step. Okay, uh, I think I might have to end the video now because I think there's going to be a, quite a big cutscene in a minute and a lot of running. So if this video is a little bit shorter, I do apologise. There'll be there'll there'll be two videos every day anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I like to keep these at about thirty minutes. But yeah, this will be a bit shorter. But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolf X. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like always, hopefully the commentary was all right. I'm doing the best I can at the moment, but. You all know what's been going on in my personal life, so it's, it's, it's hard to concentrate at times, and I feel like sometimes I'm commentating, 
and then I'm, I'm doing good and then I completely lose track of what I'm talking about and then I just sort of go quiet for a minute or I, I end up talking a load of bollocks. I do apologise but, you know, I'm getting there slowly, getting there slowly. But there's a lot to pay attention to in this game, especially on survivor mode because you don't have the listen mode so you've got to constantly keep your eyes open and be aware of your surroundings because people creep up on you pretty easily in this game. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share and join the pack today.